because I'm a guitar player or, you know, nominally a guitar player, when I pick up the bass, I tend to think of it like a guitar player. So I don't feel like I'm particularly bound, for example, towards just playing in the lower octave. I'm not saying all bass players do, but I particularly am thinking of melodies, chords. Um, I'm not, you know, because I'm not necessarily thinking like a bass player would, and also when you're writing on the bass and you're not trying to fit in around other instruments, I think that's one of the beautiful things is when I was jamming with Gavin, we were just jamming drums and bass. So there was no guitar part I was trying to fit around. There was no keyboard part I was trying to fit around. There was no vocal line I was trying to accompany. I was literally the lead instrument. Gavin was laying down grooves. So you just think about it, it just gives you all of these possibilities as a bass player to play you know, melodies, riffs, chords. And I did all of that and I had a great time. You know, in part of me has always loved the idea of being the bass player in a band. Um, so now I get the chance to be the bass player in the band and, you know, I'm coming up with all these things that I would probably traditionally have written on the guitar, sort of melody lines, riffs. But the funny thing is playing them on the bass made them sound much more fresh and inspiring to me. And the other interesting knock-on effect from that is, of course, that when I came to add guitars to the album, a lot of the time I came to the conclusion I didn't need to, you know. Uh, it just sounds so rich and so full. Like, for example, the album starts with the track Harridan. It starts with a, an almost funky bass line in five, but that's another matter. Um, and then the drums come in and you don't hear a guitar on the record for a good 90 seconds to two minutes, which is almost unheard of mm -hmm. for a Porcupine Tree album. <laughs> that's, that in itself was kind of a little bit of a statement of intent. You know, we're saying, okay, this album is not gonna be the traditional record of Porcupine Tree full of all these guitars. And that, that's also really refreshing to me that all that space suddenly opens up for things like keyboard textures, sound design, little vocal moments, because the guitar, particularly when you have heavy guitars, and obviously where Porcupine Tree kind of left off in 2010, we were still kind of, certainly in the guitar department, we were still kind of plowing that more metal furrow. And in the meantime, I've kind of fallen out of love with that a bit. bit. So there's not what you would, there's not what you would call a lot of metal sounds on this record. So when the guitars do come in, the sounds are a little bit cleaner and more spacious. And it's just opened up all of this air and space in the music, which I think is why, I think it's why I like the record so much. Being the bass player, I suppose, was the start of that process and that way of thinking. <laughs> 